Hello, everyone. It is I, Sakamoto. Welcome back to more Undertale Yellow with me, your boy, Sakamoto. Alright, let's jump into it. Let's go save, even though we just... <laughs> Lol. Hello. You feel the... Hang on a second. You feel heat coming from the pile of stones. We're not lost. I know exactly where we are. Hello, friend. My husband and I have been exploring the underground. Many secrets lie in, uh, in the underground throughout its lands. It makes, a, it makes for a great and exotic honeymoon. Unfortunately, we're a bit lost at the moment. He says he knows where we are, but I think he's just embarrassed. Any idea where we could get a map? Next stop on our trips is, is supposed to be Waterfall. I hear there are glittering stones on the ceiling. It should be breathtaking and romantic, if we ever find it, that is. Yeah, okay. It's a big and imposing rock. It seems to be perfectly blocking the cave entrance. Passing, passing looks impossible for the time being. So yeah, around here we got a nice, cute, little slowed down remix of the Snowden area music. Until we meet uh, this igloo. There's an igloo here named Frostermit. Um, dance? You do a little dance. Someone has come out to investigate. Um, hi, can I join? Uh, Frostermit is coming out of its shell a bit. You start doing a crab walk dance. Frostermit jumps in. Next time I'll lead. I think that's it. Frostermit is ready to scuttle on its way. Alright, Frostermit. So, yeah, over here we got. Ah, oh, crap. There's a fishing hole cut into the ice. Yeehaw. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, man, igloo noises. <laughs> I'm just gonna flee. Now let's get some more money. So with the with this pattern, do you guys play this game? Which, by the way, I probably should have mentioned this. This game is free. I'll leave links to, in the descriptions of every episode. And hopefully, yeah, I should have mentioned that in the first episode. This game is absolutely 100% free. You can play the whole game. There's three modes. Um, there's Pacifist, which is what we'll be doing. Um, neutral and genocide. I might do it neutral at some point down the road, but yeah. For now, we are gonna do the pacifist. Of course. I love this part, it's so pretty. It's so cool how they did this. You get a little light area, and you get a little dark area. And you get a little light area, and you get another froster man, I'm guessing. Catch you later, buddy. How much money do we have? That's not too bad. Oh, boy. This is, um... The other character that kind of reminds me of me a little bit. Because they're really scatterbrained, and it's really funny. Recalibrate the lava puzzle? Check! <coughs> Excuse me. Well, it should hold together for a few uses at least, and that's good enough for me. Next up, I need a resort. Alrighty then. To whom it may concern, in accordance with World Guard Guidebook, Section 4, Paragraph 2, this puzzle is intended to impede the progress of intruder. Of an intruder, probably you. Entertain the residents of the surrounding area, Snowden and appear intimidating to would-be intruders or wrongdoers. I'm unclear on what they mean by that, just go with it. To pass by the- <coughs> Sorry guys. <coughs> to pass by this challenge, you must melt the ice cube. Make sure the ball thing gets to the bottom without breaking through. Signed, Martlet of the Underground Royal Guard. P.S. If one of the locks gets stuck, just jiggle it a little. I noticed it was sticking the other day, but you know how it is with DIY projects. Always something has to go wrong. So yeah, just a quick jiggle will do. PPS. 
I just realized that you might not be able to reach the log to jiggle it. I mean, not everyone can fly or is freakishly tall, especially if you're a human or something. So just hope it doesn't get stuck. PPPS. I figured it out. If it gets stuck, just wait. I come around to inspect the puzzle quality every third day. Just hang out right where you are for a day or two. Oh, and hope it doesn't get stuck. PPPPS. <laughs> I have been informed that the amount of PSs on this sign is unseemly. I am very sorry for any trouble they've caused. Alright, um... So yeah, if you don't know what to expect here, um... Yeah, I, I don't know how to explain it. You're gonna come into this puzzle and be like, what do I do? Oh, okay. I mean, unless you're really able to figure that out real quick, this is what you need to do. Um, that rock's gonna go and hit that first ledge right away, but it's not that big a deal. It's just a little bit annoying. Yay, we did it. Now we gotta do it two more times. Uh... Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, I had to do it one time. Yay! Hello. Hey, you! Can you help me off this pole? I've been here for two hours now. Three dogs came up and dialed me to look at. This is a cold letter. I'm now stuck. My mom told me to be back in time for lunch, too. Please help. Okay, I can't help him now, but we will. I had to look up a guide in the last one. To a uh, little YouTube video to figure out how to do it. And I was able to do it. And I remember how to do it, I believe. So, dear owners of Dilapidated Cabin. Oh wait, this is Martlet again. Dear owners of Dilapidated Cabin. First, I am very sorry that your cabin is so dilapidated. Like, I don't know what happened to it, but I'm sure it was unfortunate. Second, I am sorry... <coughs> sorry my throat's so cloggy today. <coughs> Second, I am sorry that some of my... Some of your wood has gone missing. According to the Royal Guard Guidebook, Section 42, Paragraph 1, so long as notice is given to the original owner at least two, two business days prior, any and all eyesores can be repurposed for puzzles or other diversions. Well, I didn't know how to contact you, but to consider this notice. Unfortunately, not of the prior variety, but, you know, notice. Okay. Howdy! How are you holding up? Things, are getting it, things aren't getting any easier, huh? It would be nice to walk through here without a hassle. I guess that's not how the world works. That's monsters for you. Can never mind their own business. In any case, you're doing great. Keep it up, buddy. Thanks. Why am I going that way? Just going into another monster. I need that moolah. Need that moolah. <laughs> Can you come dance with me more often? Aww. What's over here? Hello. I read something in a book once. It said, if life comes at you too fast, press A and take it slow. Whatever that means. Not that we're ever going to use them, but... Burping guy. Excuse me. Alright. Still doing great, pal. I guess you need it. I guess you needed extra confirmation? Don't worry, I meant it just- I meant it the first time, just as much the second. Thanks. Oh, Insomnitot. I love him too. Um, you attempt to sing a quiet lullaby. Insomnia, look, insomnia, look forward. I see what you're doing. It's not gonna work. Insomnia, oh, catching himself nodding off. Inform Insomnia of the dangers of sleep deprivation. It ignores you. You sound like my parents. Um. Someone should have informed the creator of this game that Insomnia is not fun. I'm swinging Sonicot's tassel in front of his face. I'm getting sleepy?
Yeah, I seriously empathize with Insomnia Attack for the fact that I also have Insomnia. Yeah, good dinner. Insomnia Attack is in his happy place. Yay, I'm glad he got to go to sleep. Oh boy, what do we got here? Oh boy, this guy. What's this? A new customer. Trying to make him like a beat maker or whatever. Bam! Blue mile? Nobody would know, you know? Just the best darn salesman ever. Wham! I'm Mo. Anyways, the fact that you tried to get your mitts on this mug could only mean one thing. You're looking for a delicious little something to hit the spot, right? Of course. I know your type. So, you want this here beverage? No. Of course not. You and I, we are on the same page here. This thing? Gross. No one wants that. <laughs> Liquid? So, last season. I said yes before and he's like, no you don't. <laughs> And he said a whole different thing, but whatever. Solids? Pop! Season before. Until he was like, look at the last season, but anyway. You wanna be fresh and revolutionary? I got the le I got the latest thing. Solids that used to be liquids. And, you know, haven't been sitting out for the for haven't been sitting out in the forest for three weeks. I've invented the next big thing here. For the incredibly low price of 15 gold, you can have your very own hot chocolate pop. It was once boring old hot chocolate, but now it's frozen to the perfect temperature. Have I piqued your interest yet? No thanks. You sure, don't want one? you sure you don't want one? You have to keep up with the times, pal. Here, I have an idea. I'll let you look at them free. Call it a holiday special. I don't get a lot of si shipping, so I only have one of each. Let's get down to business. Here's what I got. Um, give me the hot pop. Great choice. Enjoy that pop, buddy. Bye. Okay. Hmm. Whatever. No cone. Comes to see if you are made of fire. You aren't. Encourage. You encourage no cone to follow streams. No cone wants see fire. No cone can see fire to me. Oh, we got some Pac-Man cherry things there. No cone says so things in a dance. You patiently explain the dangers of an open flame. No cone seems receptive. Fire hot melt no cone? No cone not know this. You good friend to no cone. No cone is so cute. No cone has been enlightened. You won. Zero XP and seven gold. It's a snow castle. How cute. You open the doors. You open the drawbridge. Your head hurts too much to keep going. <sighs> Humph, 238. Humph, 239. At this base, Axelope is ready for a new job in no time. <sighs> what do we got now? Oh. Oh boy, oh gee, a customer. I'm nervous. I'm a male whale from the Underground Postal Service. Haven't heard of us? We're the best. For short, just call just call us UDPS. So I hear you're new to the Underground. How, you ask? Well, word sure gets around. The Underground is great, and it keeps getting better. Because I brought for you your very first letter. You received mail. That was a special letter from us to you. Do you feel welcome, though? I hope you do. Isn't the mail system a wonderful innovation? If you ever want to use it, just come come to a station. They look just like this, and they're scattered all about. If you want to receive some mail, find one and give a shout. We can show you they are conveniently situated. Here at UGPS, we're anything but, out, but dated. Talking and sharing, all using mail. From your underground friends, but that's all for this whale. Now I must be off. The mail isn't, mustn't be late. See you later. On your journey, mate. On in your journey, mate. Okay. Thanks. Come, new friend, right to, right here to our space. Whether you roam or stay in one place, we hope you have friends with fun letters to send and always a smile on your face. Here's to more mail without any stress. Hope to see you again, the UGPS. Howdy. Must say, I didn't remember this place being so, you know, colorful. Really can't go two seconds without getting harassed around here. Hasn't anyone heard of personal space? Unless someone can mail you to ask or... I don't see why we need them. Anyway, let's get a move on. Time's a-wasting. 
Okie dokie. The remnants of a snowman. Once full of life, now full of potential for new life. Okay. Oh boy. This might take me a few tries, guys. Hey, hey, watch it. Oh ho ho, would you look at that? I think this chump wants to pass. Swig, Toast, come over here. Yeah, boss? What's up? You need a shave again? We got ourselves some fresh meat. Ha! Huh, you ain't going nowhere. You ain't getting nowhere, small fry. Yeah, not nowhere. <laughs> Will you two put a lid on it? <laughs> anyway, the name's Rafael. I'm the boss of the world-renowned gang, the Shufflers. We rule this town. If you want to pass, you're going to have to go through us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no need to be... No, eh. No need to start a fight. Let's be civil here. Do you, do you attempt to attack everyone you encounter? Calm down, will you? <clears throat> Jeez. We shufflers prefer to settle things in a more dignified manner. You catch my drift? We would like to propose a challenge. A game of songs. We'll take this ball here and hide it into one of us. Next, we'll shuffle around. When we finish, you'll have to, fit, you'll have to guess who has the ball. We'll do this three times in a row. You win, you can pass. You lose. We'll sit here blocking you for all eternity. You picking up what I'm putting down? That makes things easy then. Here we go. Okay, eyeballs, do your best. Okay. Nice eye, kid. Keep it up. First, the second one is a little difficult. The third one, I'm just like, I, I got it wrong like five times in a row last time I tried this. So, you're doing good, kid. Now don't let it go up, go to your head. Oh, I got it! Woohoo! I don't even know how I did that. Well, boss, I think the little punk beat us. Yeah, that must have been a lucky guess. <laughs> There's no way a glass of spoiled milk like you could beat us. Now, nah, now, nah, Toast. Let's simmer down. There ain't nothing to get heated over. Get beat us, fair and square. The shufflers ain't nothing if not true to their word. Ain't that right? Yeah, boss. The shuffler always keeps their word. Yeah, always. Now, kid, we'll let you pass on through. You've earned yourself a powerful friend in the shufflers today. All you gotta do is remember the name. We'll be on your side if you ever need us. The shufflers, oh, the shufflers always protect a friend, right, boys? Yeah, you got a problem, we can handle it. Yeah, handle. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> handle, get it, because they're cups. Well, Honeydew Resort. We made it to the Honeydew Resort, yay. Now, this is what I'm talking about. A perfect place to relax and de-stress. Well, not perfect, a bit crowded for my taste. At least I keep things interesting. Okay. Hey, have you seen those loiterers outside? They keep telling me how they're a well-renowned gang, but I've never heard of them before. Maybe I really am getting to be out of the loop. Nothing like avoiding life's responsibilities by lounging all day. Been here for two weeks, hit the same spot every day. It's so easy to lose yourself out here. I don't even know if I have a job to go back to. It's pretty great. <laughs> Way to the hot spring. I wish my left hand was as cozy as my right. Normally I have two mittens, so my warmth is symmetrical. But I think my left mitten took a vacation or something. It just left me. There is a torch on one side, but not on the other. The feng shui of this place is terrible. Assuming it's a great full, water, full, full body workout. Are you seeing these limps? I've never been so toned. On top of that, I've dropped a whole goggle size. Hello! Are you enjoying the warm atmosphere that can only be brought by a torch? Is it pleasant? Is it sentimental? Is it attractive? Man, I love being a torch. Well, this is the quiet, this is the hottest spot in Snowden, quite literally. I've wanted to come here for forever, and this is finally my chance. It was worth the wait. This is complete bliss. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Looks like this bear fell asleep on his way to the resort. 
These jars are plenty tied to its back. They're getting cold. Wow, it's colder today than usual, huh? If I wasn't extremely lazy, I'd go to the Honeydew Resort and get some coffee, hot coffee. So yes, I got a little bit of a quote-unquote trade route thing to go on in a second here. Um, starting with getting some coffee and then giving it to them and then giving whatever they give us to somebody else and then giving whatever that person gives us to someone else and I do it a couple more times with some other people and then we got something to get Slurpee's tongue off, that's his name, the guy with the tongue stuck to the pole, it's Slurpee, get his tongue unstuck. You know why they told me to go on this vacation? Well, because I come off as stressed, but you know why that is? I have a theory, see, because there are just so many things in life to worry about. Work, and laundry, and imminent starvation, and so on. Those are important back home, but here, it's still important. Monsters pretend they're not, though. And you know what that is? Despicable, irresponsible, shameful behavior. You know how much part, part I'll have in it? None. Zip, zero, zilch. And that's how much you should have, too. Okay, Mr. Ramble Guy. Are you enjoying the tunes as much as I am? Actually, don't answer that. You're not. I used to be one of those super fans you hear about. Followed the band around from place to place. Learned all the aliases they used in the hotels. Watched them buy their favorite brands of cereal. I'm reformed now, though. Now I'm content to sit and listen. Cooler full of honey, ready for drinking. Yum. Hey, kid, to get up. I'm guessing you're from the dunes, eh? Quack place that is. I'm probably the only other one here that's been around those pots. Some monsters avoid it due to the dryness and high temperature. What's a kid like you doing hanging with the, those wild guys, eh? Don't look so confused. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> How's the hanging? My name's Rodney. I'm the leader of our little band here. We travel all around the underground performing for the monsters. This resort is a regular gig. Care to hear a tune? Yes. Right on, dude. This is a chilly song you can curl up by the fireplace to. I guess this one's okay. <laughs> it's a remix of the battle music, I think. No. I don't know, I can't think of it right now. I'd have to, like, stop listening to it. And then, like, think about it for a second. And yeah, anyways. Oh, that's it. That's the ruins. Whatever. Do you want to talk this resort? Um, well... This resort has been a family business for years. We use local honey and all of our goodies while providing a warm place to visit. It was started by my great-great-uncle back in... Or was it my great-great-grandfather? I... Uh, I can't answer this customer's simple question. I'm not cut out for this job. So, uh, more about this place. Our, em our amenities are neat. The honey cooler, our coated latte machine, Oh, and a space heater. That's a special one. It was donated to us by a real nice engineer by the name of Chujin. His apprentice helped as well. He worked in the Steamworks ages ago when it was, you know, operational. Of course, everyone around here knew him for his generosity and soft smile. And always wanted to make people feel welcome. The heat from that machine often reminds me of those days. I hope it does you too. If you were there, which you weren't. Ugh. I'll shut up now. How's business? It's better than ever. This is the place to be in Snowden. Some come for the band, some for the hot spring. But the monsters love our coffee the most. I don't blame them one bit. It's a sweet blend of coffee beans, hazelnut creamer, and honey straight from the forest. I've already had 13 cups this morning. The band? Let's see. <laughs> we have a few acts that come here to play. The band, this band is a very popular one from Hotland. Oh, you should totally hear that new single. I especially love the chorus. It's so good and... and... oh no. I've just been talking about what I like. You must be so bored. This is why I don't like conversations. Dal. 
That name rings a bell. Hmm. Oh, I remember. Strange little guy. He would often visit here, sit down, and watch the band. It looked like he was in a trance every time he watched them. I always wanted to talk to him, but... The thought of socializing that much always scared me. Before I could muster the courage, he suddenly stopped visiting. I wonder where he went. If you, could, if you see him, be sure to tell him he's always welcome here. So we need to buy this. And then leave. We might buy some more health items in a little bit. I don't know, but we need that for the, 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 the thing we're doing for Slurpee. For Slurpee Boy. We gonna help Slurpee Boy. Take out the cup of coffee. For me? How can I ever thank you? Here, I found this in the snow. It's probably out there for ages. You've got a soggy mitten. Thanks. I know exactly where to take this. Check out the soggy mitten. That's my missing mitten. Just in time, too. My left hand was getting so jealous. I just can't live with that much civil unrest. I should really pay it back, but I don't think I have anything worth as much as my mitten. I know. Take this. It's a map of Snowden. You got a Snowden map. It's drawn in crayon. So, remember the couple we met when we first left the under, uh, the ruins? That's where we're going with the map. Feel free to slack off for a while, kid. I'll be here checking out the hot springs. You have fun with that, but you'll also be everywhere else where I see you, but whatever. Cloudy. You best be behaving out there, kid. Do the shuffle as proud. If you don't, you might wind up in an old discount tea bag. You catch my drift? You spreading the word of the shuffler's rain yet? It's pretty nice knowing we got someone out there, you know? It's stressful having to run the gang on and and run our publicity, too. <laughs> and remember, if you ever need anything, we'll be here. There's always more monsters that need an inconveniencing, you get me? <laughs> you're in the shuffler's neighborhood now. You want to pass through here, you're going to have to get through us. We got, we got a real hard game for you. Only one monster ever got past us. Oh, that was you, wasn't it? Sorry about that. <laughs> what are you doing back here? The exit's the other way, silly. Let's get going. I'm saving in case we run into monsters, so I don't think we will. Because <laughs> I think we, once you uh, are finished with an area, and you get to the next area, the monsters don't bother you anymore. What's up, buddy? Bye. Um, okay. So I guess we don't need to save. Whatever, let's just keep going. You bitty, you bitty, scapetty, blah bitty, shoo bitty, boo bitty, wabetty, bop bitty. There's a world we can visit if we go outside. 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 There, I did it. You happy? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't need you right now. I need to go this way. Um, but I'm pretty sure I hit the notes wrong because I'm wearing headphones and listening to a completely different song. And, uh, yeah, here you go. You take out the map. A map? Splendid! Did you make this just for us? I wish I had something as heartfelt to give in return. Would you like some extra matches? I've been holding on to them in case we needed a fire. We won't need them anymore. Need one anymore. Our love will keep us warm. Sorry, that's a little cliche, isn't it? Well, I wish you the best. Don't use all those matches in one place. Receive some matches. Oh, man. Excuse me, I keep burping for some reason. <laughs> What the heck? Mm -hmm. Whatever. I'm gonna light his tongue on fire with matches. All well, just kidding. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll probably get extra money for this. Let's see.
Okay, that car actually kind of went with the music, so that was actually kind of cool if you heard that. Uh, no, so what are you still doing here? I thought you left. around him. Oh. oh no. I have grew my bedtime, so no rules for me. Yeah, okay. Coffee's a little hot. I'm going to let it cool down. I'm not crazy, you know. In the meantime, I'll, I'll get to making a campfire, so don't freeze. You take out the matches. Are those matches? Can I have them? You're a lifesaver. I really need help with this fire. I, uh... I don't really have anything else to give you. Here, take your coffee back, I guess. It got cold while I was working anyway. You got a cup of lukewarm coffee. Now we can go save Slurpee. Yes, when I was doing this voice earlier, I had my tongue sticking out the whole time. <laughs> Lol. Can you please help me off this hole? <laughs> uh. Pour the warm coffee under the bowl. The ice starts to melt. At last, I am liberated. I cannot thank you enough. You are a wonderful Samaritan. Here, take here a token of my gratitude. You got a silver scarf, knitted by my auntie with abundant passion. May it warm your skin and your soul, good fellow. Now I must get home post haste. Mother is bound to be perturbed already. Farewell. And he goes that way, which is interesting. It's like some sand thing. Yay, we got an HP restoring armor item. That's super helpful. Yeah, it has defense of six, where the feather only had like two, I think. Heck yeah. <laughs> no more monsters. Well, oh, bam, take your pick. Leaving me not interested in my wares. Do I not have your favorite temperature? Oh, I see. You need some time to think about it. Well, I'll always be here for you. Go business. I said business. Um. You know, it's only 6:13 on a Sunday morning. I would think there wouldn't be that many cars right now. But there probably isn't. I'm probably just noticing them. Only heals 14. Ah, eh, you know what? Give me another one.
Uh, one gold left. Woohoo. What did he say? Damn it. He went too fast. I think this is... They played one song that I did really like, and I think this was it. Unless we already heard this one. Okay. This way, of over here, Landsville. Okay, we already read that. Here we go. Okay, then. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Oh, gods, thinking they're all special. They don't have screening process like they used to. How do they interview these how do they interview these bozos? Do you want to be a member of the Royal Guard? Yes, here's a uniform. You start Monday. Just look at this puzzle. It was a perfectly nice bridge once. I remember what it looked like as a bridge. I would have called it a pretty handsome bridge. Now you can say homemade is charming or whatever. But you can't call it handsome, no way, no way. Alright, so this is a little bit difficult. I mean, if you fall. Okay. We have to do it all over again. Hey, we did it. Cool. Ten steps to the east. Second sign. Oh, let's try Hecta. Push. You push on Hecta away. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. I think we get to play back and forth. Unfortunately, you have to push them until I fall over. And I think that's it. I told you this would happen! Try Hector, regroups, then Bickers. 12 gold, woohoo! <laughs> this tells you where the other signs are. Like, wow. What useful signs. You suddenly feel like taking a nap. Okay, that's, that's why we have insomnia, not because we lay down and go to sleep and then it's just like, the brain won't shut up, and you want to sleep. I mean, maybe that is true for some people, I don't know. I was still like do 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 how was an intruder supposed to, like, see it? The puzzle was on a higher plane, out of your average monster's eyesight. If someone solved that puzzle, they must be very good at guessing. In any case, I've created an improved version. With the new vertical design, you can see what you're controlling. The parts may still get stuck, though. Please refer to my instructions back at the first puzzle if that happens. Signed, Martlet of the Underground Royal Guard. <laughs> okay, then. So this one's a little tricky. Oh, no. Frick. Huh. And this part we have to push up. And there we go. 
while it's falling down, it's it's great. Alright, we did it. I think. Okay. Yay, thank goodness we don't have to do it twice. Even though there's like they make the water part make it look like it's gonna be three times, but whatever. Alright. I think it's boss time. Howdy! We're almost out of here. I'm surprised that you that guard never saw you nearby, you know? Their puzzles sure were impressive, that's for certain. Knowing that, I wouldn't worry if you were into them. Whatever happens, I wish you luck. Um, this boss killed me like two or three times the last time I played, but I don't think I had the silver scarf. And I also didn't have a whole bunch of health items, so I'm pretty sure we're going to be alright. We should be able to beat this boss the first time. This boss is... Martlet, obviously. Hmm? Oh, uh, hello. Sorry, I don't know where, I, where my head was right there. It seems I have a summer home in La La Land these days. You look a bit lost. Are you looking for directions? I'll let you know on a little secret. I'm not actually an information kiosk. I know this place like the back of my window. I don't get lost all... I don't get lost much at all anymore. I can get you wherever you want to go. Wait. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark here, but... You're human, right? I knew it. I knew I'd find a human. You must be human, right? Right? You look just like this guy on this poster, poster I saw once. <laughs> he had a hat just like you. Yeah, just because I have a hat. <laughs> and he was totally human, so like, transit a property or something like that? Actually, I think he was from space. Are there space humans? You know what? I'll have plenty of time to ask you questions later. Are you ready for some Royal Guard protocol? I hope you are, because I memorized it. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. Bartlett of the Royal Guard has encountered a human. Prepare to apprehend. Protocol 1. Be courteous and allow your opponent the first attack. Alright. Um... Ignore. You ignore Martlet's rambling. It doesn't look like she's noticed. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be helping you, but that was supposed to be your turn. It's okay, I space out and miss stuff like that all the time. I'll let you go again. I guess the wind blows a little blue feather in your face. Martlet looks embarrassed. You tap your wrist impatiently. Martlet looks apologetic and tries to talk a little faster. Uh, I- uh, hold on. I have the guidebook on me. I'll check what to do when someone doesn't actually attack. You can just, uh, take another turn. Go for it. Hit me as hard as you can. Martlet is nervously consulting a royal guard book guidebook. Uh, okay, I'm really sorry for the wait. I'm looking. I'm not the best royal guard, you know, but I'm really trying to be better. Last week I ha I apprehended this girl. Total human. Oh, I think it's your turn. Trying to strike a pose that looks professional and posing. Aha! Royal guards are to proceed to the next step without hesitation. Oh, does that count as hesitation? What? Protocol 2? My attack! Oh yeah. So, you see those lines in the circles? Uh, avoid where the lines are and the feathers won't hit you. No, oh, it's only a warm-up. Prepare, prepare for the Royal Guard Gauntlet! Yeah, even those falling things can hit you, so be careful. Like, the, the explosions of random objects falling after the fall of the big object, is what I'm saying. I think I'm making- I think that's pretty clear, I don't know. <laughs> Martlet- uh, blah 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 Martlet catches herself getting lost in music. hi -yah! Okay. Alright. Part one is blinking a lot. Maybe it's a code. It probably isn't. Vicky Gong. Mar Martlet something. Take this, intru intruder. Well, it has dropped her fighting stance. Little scatter frame. Phew! This is a real workout! Keep it up, Martlet!
Well, let's drop her fighting stance. It look like she's at us. Okay, this part, um, those gusts of wind keep you down. You gotta be careful of that. And they push you down, I guess. I don't know. Um, hold on. I'm checking this one more time. That can't be right. You're not fighting back. I don't want to hurt you. You're all cute and stuff. Well, you go on and have your turn. I'm gonna check my handbook again. Tap your foot on the ground, Marla tries talking even faster. See, when I apprehended that girl, I didn't have this problem. Well, I guess she didn't attack me per se, but she scolded me like that real aggressive, like, what are you, uh, what are you on about? I'm not a human. Clear the photos out of your head. Would you mind being aggressive like her? Everything smells like bird seed with a tasteful hint of vanilla and orange blossom. Insult. You call Martlet little weenie. Aw, oh, that was adorable. I don't even feel insulted. I feel like I put, I feel like I've been honored. You put so much work into that. You aren't making this easy here. Here I go, protocol and all that, for the royal guard. Oh, this part. Okay. Give it another try. I believe in you. Trying to strike a pose that looks professional and imposing. You forcibly tell Marla you don't like her clothes. That's more like it! What kind of royal guard wears racks like these, right? It's not like I stayed up all night sewing them or anything. <laughs> Alright, it's my turn. Ghost of Wind blows a little blue feather in your face. Marla looks embarrassed. You insult Martlet's job performance. I have to say, you're not wrong about that one. I've been kind of on probation for... a while. <sighs> one more misstep and I can say goodbye to the Royal Guardum. And all the nice perks that come with it. My cozy uniforms. My Royal Guard discount at the movies. My nice insurance rates. When they find out how much I hesitated here, I'm doomed. I mean, they specifically said, don't hesitate. I got it! <clears throat> well, that went well. If the Royal Guard doesn't know you're here, they won't know I broke protocol. Instead, we'll just get you home before any, any of them see you. You'll be home in time for dinner. I mean, maybe not today's dinner, but for sure a dinner. Anyway, we'll bypass the Royal Guard and plead your case to Ascor. There's no way he can say no to a cute little face like yours. Meet us. <laughs> Meet me up ahead and I'll show you my plan to get you home. Aw, Martlet's so sweet. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Dragon Ball, I mean Undertale Yellow. All we have to do for the next one is, well, hold on. Hey there, so here's the plan. I'm sorry, I think that I went a little overboard, but I can't help it. This is all too exciting. So I've been saving this for a rainy day. You know, figuratively. We don't really have those. Either way, behold, the UG Aviator. The water sits in a looking raft with just enough room for two passengers. Isn't she a beauty? Both are she's, you know. I call her Ava for short. Isn't that cute? So, we just talk to her and then we can go. I think I did not explore to over here place. Spill last time, but there's nothing over here, so. Whatever. So all we gotta do is talk to her and then we, the plot moves forward. Which we will do in the beginning of the next episode. Um... I think we got enough health items for now. Howdy! Great job, once again! I hate that so many monsters are ruthlessly attacking you, but you're handling it with grace. I'm not sure I trust this one. Lucky for us, she doesn't seem too put together. We can ditch her as, some, as soon as she messes something up. I'm sure it won't take long, haha! -ha. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Subscribe and hit the bell for more. Sakamoto hijinks, video game playing, jibbity jibbity jabbity blobbity bloobity blibbity blee like this, and walkthroughs, and stoobity boobity, and shibbity blobbity. Thanks so much for watching again. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Or in later today's episode. Uh, the no commentary version of this. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a great.